This video is sponsored by Babbel. It is opening day here at Mapperton and a lot has gone into this um, day, I have to say. It's Easter Sunday as well, so happy Easter for those of you celebrating that. And I'm just so excited, Luke, are you? I mean, I'm excited because it's opening day, but we've put a lot of effort into this, haven't we, this year? We sure have, and the people are turning up. I mean, yeah. there have been queues in I, the cafe. I know. There are kids everywhere. Everywhere. I Play saw... areas are a huge success. And, uh, and Julie's amazing rewilding trail. So they have to go around and answer uh, uh, the, the clue, if you like, and when they answer it, they get a letter, and then it spells what the Easter Bunny's name is, and the Easter Bunny's name, after you put all the letters together, is Duh. Sandwich. <laughs> Sandwich. sandwich. I, I yeah, know, I like it. I don't know oh, I love Easter it. Easter Bunny should be called Sandwich. No, but I do. Anyway, that I is do. fine. Look, there you go. You can see in the distance, we've got the teepees over there. We've got kids on the swings. We've it's got so fam exciting. families coming. The car park. How's the car park looking? The car park is full. I mean, we've full. only been open for a couple hours. Yeah. And it was. we had somebody arrive at quarter to 10 today with kids. <laughs> Qu quarter to 10 with kids. That was keen. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. We've got, we've got some people. Um, Going up Coatley. Yeah, going up in, in motorbikes somewhere I don't think they should be going. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> maybe I'll have to go and investigate that in a oh minute. Dear. Look at that, oh the dear. car park is looking pretty full. Yeah, for opening day. And Look at these kids. We've got have people, you, people have come with their, so their, their camper exciting. vans, their Winnebago's. We might have people camping out. Yeah, but look at the kids. Isn't this just kids. brilliant? There we go. Yeah, there they that are. That is, oh. Doing exactly what they should be doing yeah. on the swings. They've got little dam and sandpit beyond that, which is fabulous. It's so, I have to say, it's so exciting. And look at the cafe looks. The cafe more... inside is full. It's, it's quite chilly, see? So yeah, the cafe so inside in is fact, packed. It's packed. Yeah, should we go have a look? I'm so excited. I love this gal, by the way. Amy, <laughs> how's it going first day? It's good. It's really, really busy. Oh, here we go. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> we love it. Yeah, we love it. See, we're so busy. Um, it's great. Very busy. Yeah. Amy's going to need to help Sorry. right now, but it's... Gioco a calcio con i miei colleghi. Qualche volta gioco a calcio con i miei colleghi. You guys, I've transported myself here to Italy. As many of you know, I kind of go from one project to the next to the next. And one of the projects was actually learning Italian. I bought a little Italian house and I decided I needed to learn the language, but where was I going to start? And can I just tell you, one of the best things I've ever done is to learn a new language. So I started to learn Italian with Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the entire world. And if you're thinking of traveling this summer to a foreign country, Babbel offers a whole host of languages that you can choose from. But hear me out, even if you're not traveling somewhere and you just want a project, for me, projects are one of the things that I personally feel keeps you young, keeps you motivated, and learning a language has done that for me. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you learn a new language in just three weeks. And now when I come to Italy, I'm able to not only speak to people in the cafes and the restaurants and the locals, but also the builders here who are helping me renovate my little Italian house. And the great thing about Babbel is that the lessons are designed by real language teachers. So if you're interested in learning a new language, whether that's for travel or whether that's just to help with your self-confidence or have that project to keep you young, that's how I feel, do click the link in my description down below or the QR code to get 60% off. That's right, 60% off of your subscription with Babbel. I promise you everybody, it is one of the best things I have ever done. And in fact, I'm gonna keep learning languages for life. I'm not going to stop at Italian. I don't know what my next language will be, but something, but I wanna do this for the rest of my life.
Okay, I've just told Luke about something that's happened. <laughs> this is not funny. I re this is, there are parts of Appleton. Oh my God, it smells. I'm afraid we really don't enjoy it. Nobody's been in this bathroom for a while. And since they were here, a jack door has made its way down the chimney. Yep. It has been stuck in here. I'm afraid it is now deceased. Oh my and, gosh. And I put it in the bag. Can I see it? No, 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 just let's leave that in there. Okay, okay. Um, but not before making a mess. Oh it's, my gosh, it's everywhere on the carpet. It's everywhere. Yeah. Wow. And wow. 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 Look it up here, Luke. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six, thing. seven, eight. Nine, and then all of these here. Oh that. my gosh, and here you've squirted it was, that. It so if you're wondering where this is, everybody, here is the great chamber. And now that we're open to the public, the public comes through here, obviously to look at this splendid ceiling, but we're not, there's nobody staying in the house. So we've closed all this off, so we haven't, oh, there's one there. Yep. Oh, wow. Right here by the loo roll, there's four or five drops there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's coming off. Oh, Poor thing to get stuck in here. I know. And nobody noticed. This year at Mapperton, we are on a mission. And our we mission are. is to get 20,000 20, people visitors. to come and visit. Last year, we only got about 13,500. Yeah, so that's, so, wow. So we've it's a got, lot, but we can do it. We've got, what, what, but we've got brunch, though. That's the other thing. Brunch. This is our secret weapon. Yeah, it's we, our secret weapon. <laughs> we think people are going to want to come to Mapperton for brunch. And so we have just launched brunch at Mapperton. And Judy and I are going to go and try it for the very first time. Yeah, we're, I'm a, and you know I'm hungry. Gonna yeah, I'm gonna have the eggs Florentine. Eggs Florentine, I think I'm gonna have the eggs Benedict, but let's go. Oh wait, am I gonna have Florentine? Yeah, yeah Florentine, yeah, spinach. Yeah, spinach. Yeah. Gosh, yeah, I got have, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, okay, yeah. you're vegetarian. Yeah, let's yeah, go, let's spinach. go. Okay. All right, well, we've just technically opened, so so there's no one here <laughs> and this is our new beautiful menu so we've never really had we've the menus we've had before in the past have been on the blackboard but now we've got a lovely clipboard menu it's so smart it's, it's super smart we look like a professional brunch venue look at we that. do brunch, brunch at the top i know yeah. so that's i'm getting the eggs florentine which makes sense what are, what um, are our choices well, you've got Benedict, Benedict Royal, Florentine, or you can get pancakes. Why don't you do pancakes? Pancakes. Nestor would have pancakes. He, uh, you can also have avocado and toast. That's served all day long. Oh, because that's a uh, smashed avocado. That's very trendy and popular these days. So what are you going to have? Well, I think I'm going to have a discussion with, with Rob and work out what's, what's best. Good Rob. morning, how are you? Good morning. Are we here for brunch? <laughs> we're, we we're here for brunch. Yeah, you should just we're reveal sick. something. There is not normally table service here. You have to go and order at the counter. But that Rob is true. Has very kindly agreed to come over I know. and take our order as a one-off. Um, so what are we looking at? Rob, what are we what excited you, about? What are you recommending? It looks so smart. Well, what's, uh, how's, how's it gone so far? Yeah, we've it's been going very well. for three days. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's going to work for us. I think that uh, people have, the response has been fantastic. Um, and I think it's going to get people in early and, and you know, having something yeah. delicious and wonderful yeah. for, to start their day. That's a good point. Um, I like that. Getting people in early. What are we having? You're going for one, I'm going, one egg for of thing. course. And I think I'm going to go for the traditional bacon. Benedict. No and look, problem. It comes on an English muffin. It certainly does. Fantastic. I think muffins have always been in English, but in America they're always called English muffins. Oh, and so, can I have a black Americano, please? You sure, of course you can. And I might have a hot chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. Would you like a deluxe one? No, I think oh. I'll just go for the regular. Fair enough. Deluxe. Fair enough. Fair enough. What, is, what, is the deluxe deluxe what, is, what does the deluxe include, though? That's the the deluxe, deluxe includes whippy cream, yeah. marshmallows, <laughs> and chocolate shakes. <laughs> and I thought it would be right up your alley, but it's not. I will 
we'll skip those. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. No problem at all. But good for kids. We'll okay, get your great. food and your drinks over okay, to great. you as soon as we can. Super smart. Nice Cheers, guys. Thank you. Excited. It's like my favorite dish in the whole wide I've world. I've already got food envy. I quite like some of that spinach. Enjoy your food. Yeah, this Thank is you. fantastic, Rob. This is, by the way, this you. brunch idea is all because of Rob. So, Rob um, and Rob and Lucy. Rob and Lucy, Rob and Lucy, Rob. This, this brunch <laughs> idea is all because of Rob and Lucy. So, um, it's so brilliant. And yeah, okay. We will, we will tuck in. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at, look at this. This is like my favorite thing look, in the world. And, and perfect poached eggs. Look at that yolk just, just coming out. We've got freshly made hollandaise. This no, is proper on, English muffin, isn't it? It's on a, it's on a, it's on the proper ham, oh so it's not, it's not bacon. It's like, oh. it's like proper English ham. That, the, that, that's looking like a big mouthful, isn't it? Wow. This, everybody, this is, is absolutely fantastic. perfect. So, um, so We're come, so excited. Come for brunch. Uh -huh. At Mapperton. I mean, whether you're in Dorset, London, or oh. across the pond, it is worth flying all the way just to have I eggs agree. benedict at Mapperton. On an English muffin. With a coffee <laughs> or a hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. We're having a great time. Yeah, we are. So I've just bumped into Holly, and she is preparing a really important board, telling us exactly what's on in April. Holly, what's on in April? We've got gardens, so I've spoken to head gardener Susie. So um, yeah, everything that's going on in the gardens, the beautiful colours, where you can find them. You've also got uh, a bit of information about the house, events, and what we as a team do here at Mapperton. And meet the team. You've got Percy, the tortoise, having his weekly clean with Martin on a Monday. Does that mean, can people muck in? Can you yeah. can people put on their tortoise cleaning gear? And, Absolutely. And uh, yeah, fantastic. What's going on on this side? Nothing yet. TBC. TBC. That's, uh, that's May to May. come. May Holly, to come. brilliant, fantastic. Come and enjoy Mapton with all the wonderful things that we have going on here in April. I'm back up at Coltley and we're revisiting the road that is slipping down the hill. And I came here the other day and showed you some of the uh, extreme cracks that we have developed at that end, but also you can see where this road has been rebuilt here. We've got cracks beginning to appear here. So this is all newly laid road, but the problem is that it's not stable. And the reason it's not stable is because we're standing at the top of a really substantial landslip. The, this part of the hill here has been so wet with all the rain that we've had that it is just heading down into the valley towards the sea. Um, and you can't really see from here because it actually all looks quite, uh, you know, quite together. But if you come down this way, what we can see is what's really going on. This, by the way, is one of my favourite places of Mapperton because you simply cannot beat this view. Um, I don't know whether you can quite see, but all the way down the valley there, we have the sea. And it's just the most stunning piece of Dorset countryside. Look at all this, uh, this gorse, all the lovely yellow, vibrant yellow. But uh, amongst the beauty of the countryside, we have some serious problems. And you can begin to start to see what I'm talking about. Notice the crack that has formed here. This has all dropped a foot. As we come further down, <laughs> you can see we've got very substantial amount of collapsing ground here. And the reason this is happening, you can, you can see this, it now extends 
I don't know, 50 yards, 50 meters from the top. So that piece of road up the top is sitting above this enormous landslip and, um, and it's just, you know, making its way down. The reason it's making its way down is because it's absolutely waterlogged and underneath the soil, we have quite unstable geology because of this stuff that I, I showed you last time, the green sand. And in fact, you can, you can see some of it here. Um, up here, you can see that the, the council have been putting in additional drains to try and get the water out. And I think that is making a difference. But, um, but look at this. I mean, this, this is just sand. So, um, so yeah, looking at this whole thing, you begin to understand why this is actually quite a big engineering project. Yeah, you can really get a sense of the, the scale of the whole thing. Everything you see here has slipped since the major storm that we had in the first week of December. That was the, that was the event that kicked it all off and um, hopefully it's, uh, it's settled and it's gonna stop going. The next step is we've got some engineering teams coming out to dig very deep boreholes so they can see exactly what's going on and work out at what point the ground becomes more solid in terms of finding a solution. But as I say, I think we're probably gonna have to divert the road. So this is the road as it currently comes, and then just beyond here is where the landslip starts. So the idea is potentially to take the road and ped it off through the hedge here and get up a bit higher, which would mean that we could bypass where the slip is and come round and hit the triangle this way. Let's go have a look. Instead of being the other side of the hedge, would come through just before the tree and it would bend up and round, come through where I'm walking at the moment and head on through where the gate is and then join up and go back round that way. That's one of the plans. Very exciting, everybody. These have arrived. You're probably wondering what these are, but I'm about to show you. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I've got to bring in one more package. I'll be right back. All right, another package. So this is super exciting, everybody. It, it, like, I can barely hold my excitement, but I'm a bit nervous. Now, library finished. Some things I want to, what is, it's all happening. Like the exhibition is opening up a month from today as I'm filming this video. We have brought in this display case. So this display case will be filled with some of Alberta's letters, her diaries, um, one of her journals. And, uh, and that is very exciting. Um, on top of this piano, I am now just putting together a collection of photographs and frames so it looked very country house as well so photographs lots of photographs of alberta alberta's family all of that then we have these a1 exhibition boards that i've been working on so they just arrived and i have to say i'm really really nervous it's upside down oh my gosh board one. This is board one. American origins. Solomon Sturgis, founding father of the Sturgis dynasty. Um, wow. I'm looking, it's looking good. I just, I, I think I was just at a loss for words because the first thing when I opened it up was I wanted to make sure that there weren't any spelling mistakes and there aren't. And that makes me nervous. So you can see how big these are. So how it's going to work, I'm so happy. Do comment down below, let me know what you think. 
So I'm going to hang this from wire up above, so it'll be kind of like here. So you can maybe even a little bit lower, probably. So here, so you can come through and yeah, probably about there and read this. So this is one. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's one. Bear with me, everybody. Oh my gosh, this one makes me smile. So board number. F oh my gosh, this could be my favorite one. Alberta's legacy. And it's about new beginnings, how we moved to Matt Britain. But that quote that in one of her letters in 1906 that she wrote to her mother, she said, um, we went yesterday to a neighbor's Matt Britain court. Never in all my life have I seen a small Elizabethan home so beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give you a proper tour later, but that's the board I'm unbelievably excited about. So this is board number two. Again, I'm going to give those of you who purchase three or more cups of coffee on Buy Me A Coffee, details down below, you'll be getting a whole tour of the entire exhibition. By the way, I'm just gonna say that each of these boards, because <laughs> this is not, I, you know, this is my first time doing this and I wanted to get it right, but each of these boards to curate them and to properly sort of edit them the way I wanted them to be edited, each of them took eight hours for me to write it, curate it, all that. So this one, that one's gonna go in the middle here, I should say. So this is gonna hang here in the middle when people come in. And then this last one, and don't worry, this chair is gonna be moved. This last one is um, courtship and marriage. And it's really about, well, first how they were, introduced and then this uncertain courtship she honestly which is crazy she didn't make up her mind until just a couple of weeks a few weeks before they married july 25th 1905 still in june of 1905 she still was uncertain and hadn't accepted his proposal so this board is going to go here these chair by the way the chairs and the sofa will be moved out now since I'm already in this corner, I was recently in London because oddly, we don't have a really good watercolor or even painting of Hinchingbrook. And this is a beautiful one. And this probably would have, looking at it, um, it doesn't have sort of the hedges around, which Hinchingbrook now has hedges. My father-in-law calls them the, the 12 apostles. They're quite big. This painting was recently gifted back to the family by, hear me out, Alberta's half-sister, Francie, one of her granddaughters. So you're gonna learn all about Francie. Well, you'll learn about Alberta's mother's second marriage in the exhibition, but Alberta's mother remarried the second time because Alberta's father died and they had one child together, Francie Leggett, who became Margison, and her granddaughter was in possession of this and is donating this back. I think it's perfect for the exhibition. Now, I love this. So I'm gonna put this on the piano, and this is from Alberta's Book of Receipts, as she would have called it, but we would say recipe book these days. And many of you have seen uh, me look at that. In fact, I'm repairing it right now. And that will be on display under the display case. But I just wanted to give an example of some of the a menu that would have been served at Hinchingbrook. So you'll be able to get full view of that. We have, I thought this was quite sweet. One of my transcribers put this together for me um, as far as collating different news clippings. So these are just, how great is this? Montague Wedding, the week's event that was in the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, uh, the Daily Herald wrote, Miss Sturgis may be a countess. And then when she does become the countess, um, the new American countess. There you go. So that's going to be displayed here. Be sure to click the link in the description to get 60% off your Babbel subscription today. Thank you for watching Mapperton Live and please join us again next week. If you'd like to find out more about becoming a patron, please go to patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live.